Hello everyone and thank you for joining my channel. Today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to set up your Etsy shop and be able to get information through Google Analytics. So we're going to set everything up through Google Analy uh, Analytics. So um, let's get started. So first thing we want to do is make sure that of course we are logged into our um, Etsy store shop and you also want to make sure that you've um, at least have a Google account. So once you have those two things, um, the rest of this should be a breeze. Um, you're going to want to go to your shop manager tab in your Etsy store to um, view most of this information. So first you want to take the URL of your store and copy and paste. Um, take everything before the question mark and um, just make sure you copy it. You don't need the rest of the URL. And then you're going to go over to Google Analytics when you make a new account and you're going to paste the website URL here. Um, make sure you take the HTTPS off the front and make sure you change the drop down menu on this. Um, you can name where it says account name, you can name your store anything you want and same with the website name, um, just make it something relevant. Then you want to go ahead and click what category your um, website is, which this one is shopping. Um, and then all of the data sharing settings, that's up to you what you want to do. I just leave it and then go ahead and make sure you accept the lovely terms and conditions. <laughs> um, and then once that's done, we will get a new page here and it's going to have a tracking code for us. So you're going to go to the top of the page and you're going to see something that says tracking ID um, right next to this blue box up here. So go ahead and we're going to copy and paste this um, tracking ID. And then we're going to go back to Etsy um, shop manager and in the shop manager you're going to go to the settings, options, web analytics and you're going to paste the code right here where it says web property ID and then you're going to hit the save button um, so all the changes save. Now your shop should be ready to go on Google Analytics. We'll go back to the home. Um, at first you won't see anything at all. Um, it's going to take a few days to actually start getting data and it won't backtrack any of your data at this time. So I am going to go ahead and um, show you what it looks like after a few days and give you just a quick view of um, some of the things. So we'll be back here in just a second. Okay, a few days have passed and now we have a little bit of um, data on our Google Store. First what we want to do is make sure that we adjust our filters um, to make sure that we are not having any um, tracking information coming from ourselves or our computers. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quick as well. So you need to go to the admin area and then you need to click on all filters and from there we are going to create a new filter for our Google Analytics page. Let's go ahead and click add filter Then you can put in a filter name I just put you know something simple that makes sense to me. I'm just gonna put my IP address so I know what this is in case I ever come back later and look at it. Then I want to exclude and we're going to go put go ahead and put I, our traffic from the IP address that are equal to. Make sure you get your IP address. And once you have it, you just go ahead and copy and paste it in here. And then you go ahead and click save. Alright, there you go. Everything is set up. So 
Um, if you guys want more videos like this, let me know. Um, I am more than happy to do more videos that dives further into Google Analytics and understanding them. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of features. You can go ahead and start clicking through yourselves. Um, you'll also see on here that there is some information of where the traffic's coming from, like social media. And more specifically, if you actually click on the channel of social media, you can see if it's from Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. Again, just go ahead and click through there and it'll start showing you some of the information. You can also see what URLs people are entering on. If that interests you, you just need to go ahead and click down on the behavior overview and then you'll see some URLs of where people are landing on your page. So again, go ahead and like and subscribe. Let me know what videos you want to see next in the comments and thank you all for watching.